How to get rid of squash beetles. By learning some basic facts about the squash beetles, you can more easily identify a potential infestation. These insects pass through four distinct life stages, each one different from the last. After mating, the female lays masses of 30 to 50 bright yellow bullet-shaped eggs on the underside of the leaf so the larva will have an immediate source of food to consume. These eggs are fortunately large enough in size to be fairly conspicuous to the naked eye, which should help with identifying them. Within a few days, the larva will begin to hatch from the eggs and then feed voraciously. The larvae of the squash beetle look like small yellow ovals with long dark spines emerging from their backs. Once it has grown sufficiently, the larva will begin the metamorphosis into adults. This pupa stage, as it's called, hangs immobilized from a secluded spot, but it isn't completely defenseless. It will secrete oily droplets at the tip of the hairs to deter ants and other predators. Once it has fully grown, the adult squash beetle is characterized by a yellow or orange oval-shaped body, measuring about half an inch in size, with a big rounded back. It has seven large black spots on each wing casing and four smaller black spots on the neck area. When the wing cases are lifted up, the beetle is capable of full flight. The adult bug seeks out sheltered or secluded places to survive for the winter, including rocks, buildings, and plant debris. When they emerge in the spring, squash beetles will find a suitable host plant near their original habitat to mate and lay their eggs once again to begin the cycle anew. One generation is usually produced every single year. Identification can be a little difficult from appearance alone because the squash beetles are easy to mistake for other types of insects. One of the insects they most strongly resemble is the ladybug. The main difference is that the squat beetle is generally larger in size and covered in an orange or yellow shell rather than a red one. Squash beetles only infest squash-like plants, whereas ladybugs are not considered to be agricultural pests at all. In fact, they feed on agricultural pests. Another type of insect for which it's commonly mistaken is the squash bug. However, squash beetles and squash beetles are not closely related at all. The squash bug has a flat gray-colored body like a stink bug rather than the round yellow or orange appearance of the squash beetle. There is one significant similarity though. They do feed on squash and pumpkins just like the squash beetle. How to get rid of squash beetles early detection is one of the most critical aspects of prevention. After your pumpkin and squash plants have grown, you should regularly check for signs of unprotected eggs attached to the underside of stems and leaves. Once you've found the eggs, you can easily detach them from the leaves and destroy them before they even have a chance to hatch. Larvae and adults are more mobile and generally harder to kill, but they are still vulnerable to most common pest control methods. Squash beetles may take considerable time and effort to get rid of. Because they like to hide under plant debris, one of the most important steps is to properly clean up any debris lying on the ground to prevent them from easily hiding. Once the harvest season has been completed, you can work the soil again and remove any leftover foliage to deprive the larva of a food source and prevent the new adults from naturally building up sufficient reserves for the winter. By the time autumn arrives, it might be too late to stop the previous infestation, but it can help to prevent another one during the next year.